Sarah. You guys are all updates. Then after updates, I'm going to scoop. And then I'm going inside. So I know um, a couple of the people have told me the sound level is different in here. So it, the voice I'm using now, is that too loud or too soft? And I'll go back to the cam and check. And I was wondering if we have a cataterry tonight. Do we have a cataterry? Uh oh. Do we have someone offering to be a cataterry for tonight? <laughs> Zelda, are you going to be my girl? Okay, Bessie. Okay, all right, you guys are so easy. That's so nice. Okay, I'm going to sit on the floor. And um, we've got, ouch, we have a couple boxes and then just a few updates. Got a couple letters and a postcard. And I'm going to start with the postcard first. This is from Halifax, Nova, Nova Scotia. And it's from Sunny, from our Sunny friend. Uh, here is a picture of the beautiful city I live in, Halifax, the capital of Nova Scotia, Canada, to add to your collection. And it's Renee, or her, her cam name is Sunny. I have people come in here all the time and comment. And just so you guys know, because maybe you haven't seen this before, but right behind my desk here is where um, the cork boards are that I put all of our postcards. So, so Sunny's card is now up there with the rest of the game. Yes, I do. And I had something else here too from Carolina Ash, and I'm not sure if she's on or not, but if you see her, you'll have to tell her that you saw it. This is a, a magnet, and I'm going to put it on the refrigerator. It says, great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance. And I really like that. But the, the colors were kind of kind of pretty, too. So I'll take that back inside and put it on the refrigerator. Whoops. What? What? Can you hear Badu? Oh, and then after the boxes and one envelope, I have an extra special envelope to show you all. And it's from all of you guys out there. So, let's get started. Oh, Zelda, we won't move you yet. This one is from Amazon. I don't have my box cutter. <laughs> Bella, Bella, don't do that. No cords. And oh, the little it makes me appreciate the box cutters. We have a white paper, but I don't have who it's from. And you know how I always keep notes inside from the emails of who has sent what if they if they have emailed me. I don't have any right now because they're they're all in there and I can't get to them. So maybe somebody on there will know. It's a, a three pack of the Lysol uh, disinfectant wipes, which is a good thing um, because I brought one big container out and we're almost through that already. So now I won't have to go figure out a way or have to go buy it. I'll just take one of these and use it. So thank you. But if somebody knows on there who did this or, or if you're on there, please let um, 
Stassi knows so that I can I can have your name down with those. Hey, you guys are going to have to help me carry these things out now, you know. Tilo, Tilo has been playing all day long with his round rubber ring. And if I could find it again, I would show it to you because maybe somebody out there has some of those rings. And they're, you know what they're like? They're like in a store when you buy a scarf, how they have those round plastic clear rings that they zip through there to hang up. That's what they are. He loves them. Okay, come on Shasta. Okay Zelda, how about sitting on the smaller one? This one is also an Amazon box. This Amazon box is from Kentucky. Are you guys helping me or just watching, huh kitties? It's ripped off. Let me see if it's in here. I know somebody told me they were going to send this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't have my emails. Dog on it. It's uh, a whole batch of uh, the Bonito Flakes, and we don't have any in here. So I might open this up and give them a little treat tonight. And then some of the pill pockets for Farah and these would be I can't read upside down the chicken flavor and she did by the way have her medicine tonight and also another thing of PMR which is nice we've we finished one up today you know remember I told you that we use the L lysine and the colostrum in the breakfast morning um, bowls of food we also add a few tablespoons of this to it as well and then there's a box, a box in a box. Oh, it's heavy. And not, and it doesn't have the other half of the paper in there. <laughs> Is there somebody in there? Oh, so these are not good. It's the only pair of scissors I have in here. Oh, this is great. Need your help, Plymouth. Yeah, this is the chicken whiskers. The chicken um, 12 packs in here. And I think I'm going to leave one of these in here, too. We planned really well, but we didn't pack any of these in the cats of those. So I'll, I'll put these in Thumper's room. and But we'll keep one in here. How's that sound, guys? Oh, Siri, I'm so sorry you have to potty with me right here beside you. I don't know if I'm sorry for me or sorry for you. Here, we can do it that way. All right. And hopefully whoever sent that, I'm sorry, um, I don't I don't have a name on this, but please, please let, let the cameras know so that we can do our proper thank yous. And there really is a kitty in here. Tweenie's trying to get in there, too. Yeah, what are you doing? Look how big Picasso's getting. <laughs> I tell him all the time he's my slinky boy. Here's your, oop, are you going to pat me on the face? Okay, Twinkie, Tweenie, Tweenie Weenie. You guys are going to have to help me, kitties. Okay, let's do this one next. This one also is an Amazon one, and it's heavy on one end, and moves in there. Okay. Oh my goodness, Siri. Good thing you guys don't have a um, smeller zone on that cam. Oh. <laughs> See, there's nowhere you can go in here without the litter boxes. So I've got one on either side of me. Both being used at the moment. Oh, this is nice. Also, yay. This is a, a case of fancy feet. Boy, I'm batting out on names tonight. This is a case of Fancy Feast. It's the classic seafood. So whoever whoever sent this, please, please um, tell yourself or acknowledge yourself on the cam so we can give our thank yous. So these are the things that this, the, can, the food helps us also so very much. 
You know, um, in the like in the last year, I don't think I've had to buy any substantial food other than two times we've had to go out. So that says a lot for how wonderful you all are at helping us with this. This one is, I do not know, but it's from Amazon, but it doesn't, it's heavy, but it doesn't wiggle very much. It, oh, oh, man. Those are not good, are they? Da -da. Oh, you guys could have paper tonight. Are you guys having fun back there? There is a paper inside. Ah. Oh, this is nice. And I don't have a name on this either. Oh my. But we do have some paper, our toys for tonight. This is Diamond. Active Cat Chicken and Rice Formula. This is a really nice kind of cat food. And we will definitely add that into our mix. And it has the mega fatty acids for skin and, and coat. You know, in the mornings, if you ever see when I do breakfast, I tip a little bit of the omega um, fatty acid oil. And that's, this has that in it. Thank you. Oh, I sure do hope Sassy will be able to figure out who has sent all these wonderful things. Okay, you guys, this would be a fun box for you tonight, but I would have to cut those things off. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. That's that. This is that. That goes there. That goes there. And, oh, this one is from Jack Cat. Hope I can manage this. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, uh. Hey, Patty Purr, why don't you lend me your, those teeth of yours? Sorry, buddy. A case. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right, Jack Cat. Hey, you saved the you saved the week, Jack Cat. Hey, this is awesome. It's a little. You know how I'm always throwing. Look at this. Now we have a box cutter for the whole week, and the extra extra blades. Jack Cat, thank you. She keeps us well in supply of um of uh box cutters and look at that now i don't have <laughs> perfect 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 i'll store these and these in there and dodger's pin where the cam's hanging at is where we're storing it is completely full of supplies that we need for this whole week so i'll add that in there no more no more uh scissors for me thank you jack cat that was perfect timing okay guys I have a box back there. We might as well mess everything up. And we have a package. This is a pretty cool one. This is clear from Japan. I think the name is pronounced Mayumi Takeda. Mayumi Takeda. And uh, it's from Japan. Isn't that awesome to think that? See you now that stamp thing on there. I have to take off my mom. She likes she likes different kinds of stamps, postage things. Oh my! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Well, wait, there's a note here. Let's read the notes. note first. I'm jumping ahead. Oh, I know what these are. Oh. Let me stick these in here first. What you doing, Connie? Oh, look at that. It says, Dear Jackie, 
Thank you so much for sharing that your mom likes postage stamps with us. Because I've been looking for someone that likes them. I used to write letters much, but I don't now. Because besides, I've been preparing for moving, which will be within a couple of week months. I don't know if the enclosed are her favorite types. So some many some may be interesting. I love your mom. Oh, I've been wishing her well, and I and really hope she could find her favorite among them. Thank you for um, what you've been doing always. Love. And I'm sorry if I misspelled it or mispronounced it. Mayumi Takeda. P.S. Sorry for my weird English. Actually, Mayumi, I am probably totally not pronouncing your name right, but you're. Look how beautiful she writes. Yeah, my mom, she does. She loves the stamps. And you know what? She's also got a kick out of is so many of you have sent her cards for my dad. And. She has really liked them, and um, she always notices on the post thing where where they're from. And every stamp that is a little different, she's cut every single one of those off. So look at this. This is a animal one. There's a kitty one on there. And look at this. This is beautiful. Now look at the um, Japanese writing on the side. And this one is a uh, fill a Nippon. Oh, these are commemorative stamps for Japan World World Stamp Exhi Ex Exhibition in 2001. Look at the variety of those. Kitties, there's flowers. Those are really cool. My mom will totally, totally love these. She will she will get such a kick. I'll take them out with me tomorrow. And these are these are really cool too. There's only two stamps on there, but look at the whole design on it. There's some little ones. Thank you, Siri, for just leaving those alone. There's a real Japanese looking one. Uh, a dinosaur. Uh, check this out. This Oh, this one says Opening Commemorative Stamps of International Library of Children's Literature, Tokyo in 2000. This is letter writing day. Oh gosh, aren't those cute? Thank you so very much. This will be fun with my mom tomorrow. This will be fun to do for her. Thank you. That will that she will just love this, and this means a lot to me too. I'm trying to keep her busy right now, and today we had kind of a fun day. We went through her jewelry box and sorted things out and organized things just to kind of pass some time so she'll let I'll take this out with me tomorrow and I'll take the envelope too thank you so much that means a lot to me um, okay kitties I gotta not lose anything all right I got a very special envelope here to show you all let me see if we're still on we still on? Check this out. This is from all of you guys. This is totally all of you guys. This is awesome. It's from Pet Finders. It's our check. Got it. Got it yesterday, but I didn't get to show it yesterday. It says, uh, "Friends of Fe dear friends of felines, animal shelter." Oh my goodness! I should say, "Dear friends of felines rescue center," but that's okay. Congratulations! You were the group with the most votes during the week of January 15 to January 21. 
for round one of the Animal Rescue Site and PetFinder.com. Enclosed you will find a check for $1,000 for having the highest total of votes in a one week period. While winning a weekly award does exclude you from being eligible for regional prizes in this round of voting, your group is still eligible for the $5,000 grand prize. Make sure you keep those votes coming at da 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 da. We hope that you will join us in thanking our friends at the Animal Rescue Site for their generous sponsorship of this contest. Let them know how you plan to use this prize, which I always do that. Email your letter to and it gives me that. Um, and it's signed by the Executive Director of PetFinder.com Foundation. Now, let me reread that one part. While winning a weekly award does exclude you from being eligible for regional prizes in this round of voting, your, your group is still eligible for the final 5000 grand prize. So can someone for me pretty please check into the rules there? I was under the thought that we can still win um, the state of Ohio at the end. Maybe somebody could look that up. There was I saw some back and forth stuff on that the other day on the chat, but I didn't have time to get get um, investigating too much on that. But if somebody could look that up for me, I'd be ever so grateful. So this is round one, week two. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know, this is all because of your votes. And this money is going towards our um, storage room which I cannot wait. This is going for our storage room. Um, let me check one thing before I mention something. We cannot win the state prize. Sharky, no, I didn't get your card yet. And Sassy, you're you're sure on that? Did you double check on that? Just so that we know for sure. Hi, Lini. We have not gotten a quote yet for the storage. Uh, room. Uh, hopefully, we will get that this week. I'm a, I'm I'm uh, planning on getting that this week. Okay. Thank you, Sassy. That is the reason regional. Okay. Okay. Um, if as soon as we can afford it, we want to be able to start the storage shed. Oh, oh, not storage shed, I'm sorry, storage room, storage room. And some of you folks have been sending me um, names of suggestions for it in hopes that we get to do it. And um, what I'm going to do is put them all together and then we'll put those up for some votes. Um, I don't see Peggy S. on there. Let me double, can, can somebody check on that for me? See if... Um, there's a P, what is that, PJA, PSL on there as a person, chatter. Okay, I didn't think she would probably be on um, tonight. That's Peggy S., who is one of my volunteers. I don't know why I'm talking extra soft because I don't want her to hear. But her 70th birthday is coming up. And I had mentioned it one day last week, and I can't mention it too often because I don't want her to be on there and hear me. Um, but I don't think she's on right now. Um, she has never, ever, ever has had a birthday party, so I'd love to do a birthday card shower for her. So she's Peggy is our volunteer that comes on Thursday afternoon. She used to come every Thursday and Friday noon. She's a wonderful, awesome person. She loves, loves these cats. And um, she's been helping me for a long, long time. And I just really think the world of her. But if you would like to um, send a birthday card here to the Rescue Center, put Peggy us on the outside, 
and I'm starting to gather them up and then on her birthday which is February 9th I believe it is then I'll give those to her so if you'd like to do that maybe have them to me by the end of the first week of February which is tomorrow is February um, and I will gather them up and I will, will give those to her and I appreciate that so much she means a lot to me and the reason I said that was because yes I really messed up big time on the blog I put um, Tuesday uh, February 1st instead of Tuesday January 31st and then I wasn't going to fix it because I didn't want to erase all the comments because I like to go in and read the comments but I was typing away and I talking to somebody at the same time and anyhow I ended up erasing part of the blog anyhow so it was I just was disgusted with myself so tomorrow is February 1st for those that didn't know that um, we're doing real good here today's the end of the second day on the floor and so what they did this morning the first thing they did was they came in and they swept up all the quartz that was laying on top they throw a whole bunch of it on top of the epoxy and then during the night then it just kind of adheres together and it, it lays together nicely. So this morning it's dry, it was dry and so they sweep it all together and then they blow it off and then he put another, they put another coat of epoxy on and then another coat of quartz. And then they let that set all the rest of the morning and then late this afternoon they came back and they swept it all off again. They use a broom first and then they come in with a big blower and just blow the place out with it. And then they put, um, the next thing they did then was to put a coat of epoxy down and that's where they left it. They put two, they always put two layers of quartz which is done now. So then it's had three layers of um, epoxy now tomorrow morning they come in and put one more layer of epoxy I think I have this right they've changed it a couple of times tomorrow's Wednesday yes tomorrow morning they come in and do the epoxy tomorrow afternoon they come back and put the polyurethane on top of that and then Thursday morning it'll be dry enough for them to come in and they will then put the vinyl it's a four inch vinyl that goes around all the walls and it finishes it off and then that way when we mop we don't touch the actual wall and then we then we just leave it set it sets and it hardens and then so it hardens all day Friday we could actually walk on it Saturday but because of all the heavy stuff that has to come back in here and remember when we went when we took everything out we just pushed it out it didn't matter if we messed, mucked up the floor or not because it was coming up anyhow so coming back in we have these big plastic things that we will be very careful about with the new floor but that's the reason we're waiting till Sunday he said we could technically move back Saturday but we're going to give it till Sunday morning and um, Saturday early afternoon I think it is um, Martha L that usually does the wipe down on Sunday or Monday she's coming in Saturday and she's going to do all of that in there all four rooms and the whole entire main area she'll wipe down top to bottom and get all that dust and stuff that's been flying around there all week so that way when we move everything in on um, Sunday it'll be all nice and clean um, furniture's already been swept off and tucked in the trailer I just uh, text Paul, Paul tonight and said the trailer's got a big flat tire on it so we got to get that pumped up tomorrow and make sure it stays up um, the kitties are doing really good today was a lot better I think heck by the time we move back on Sunday maybe they won't want to go back in there but we had the little uh, door the doggy door kitty door down here open all day this is Ohio we always have snow and cold and very cold weather and it was 57 degrees today we've had I think somebody told me three inches of snow all together been the craziest winter I've ever seen but it's been a blessing to us this week because we haven't had to deal with snow and um, and the rain so or ice so they've been out again all day today lots of them were out today every time I would walk by um, Badu is still grumbling a little but you know I don't think she means half of what she says do you Badu She's just looking around. I think she's got a smile on, and uh, they're doing. She's doing really well. Everybody's doing pretty good, I think. 
Um, I wanted to let you know that I got a call from um, from Val, and after discussing discussing the problem with G Gina about her heart condition, um, she has decided not to adopt Gina or Jaka, J um, Jaken. And um, I told her that I respected her answer, and I completely understand. Val has gone through months or years of treating her old dog, Jazzy, with heart um, disease. And she's such an awesome doggy owner and cat owner. And she really, she's, she's put a lot of effort and money and time and love and tears, I'm sure, into Jazzy's treatment. And I think that it's a lot to ask of her to maybe take on one, maybe two. We haven't had a chest x-ray done yet on Jaken, but we will. Um, to have her take on two, maybe one for sure, maybe two kitties that would maybe follow the same um, steps of treatments that Jazzy has had. So she's um, going to not adopt them, and I hope everybody backs her up and is very understanding in that thought of why. It's a lot to ask, and um, I think Val is going to post a little note on Facebook uh, explaining more in detail of her feelings on this, but I hope everyone will be real respectful of her decision and just back her up. That was an extremely hard decision to make for her because she does love those two kitties, but it's just the whole emotional picture of it. So I'm behind her 100%, I understand. And I, I really think you all will, too. Um, we are going to, I think what we'll do is call up on, call up at our other vet's office and where, uh, set, where Fifi and Gina is going to go up there Friday for their surgeries. Gina for her spay and Fifi for her eye surgery. And um, just leave Jacob up there also for a chest x-ray and then we'll bring them all back at the same time. And we will. Uh, we want to just see what's going on there for Jake, and hopefully nothing. Um, so uh, that's where we're at on that. And another note that I would like to say, be careful, is that we have so many kids here that come in here, and we have a lot of kids on the chat. And I think it's wonderful how we have all formed such a wonderful friendship and almost like a family atmosphere here. And that's what we want. And so when kids come on. Um, you you know a lot of these kids are little hams and they love chit chatting with you guys. It makes them feel very important and they love showing all the chatters, the cats. And I love that interaction that we get with the kids. And you all, whoa, baby, you all right, Asha? Oh, yeah, you'll be all right. And so I just want to just uh, thank everybody for always making sure the kids are made welcome. And, um, you know, they do read the chat, so always make sure that it's kid-appropriate words or chatting on there, too. So I appreciate that. Um, I'm just going to back up, see if there's any questions. You kitties are going to help me clean up, right? Kids are great. They really are. They're they're our future, and <clears throat> I always think if we can teach them the compassion that they need for for animals, you know, they've we've got it made with them. Dexter's in a house. I know, Tommy. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> Other than that little internet hiccup, we have been on the whole time. And again tonight, I am not going to reboot. I'm going to. Take this, see as far how far we can go um, without this going down. I think it's wonderful. So, again, remember if the cam does go down tonight, ask one of the moderators or designate somebody to call me, and I'll come out and reboot it. It's quite all right. I always have to reassure everybody that it is okay to call me for that. But I'm normally I, I've been having to reboot before I go in, and I have not done that now. So we're gonna see how far we can take this. Could maybe somebody could put the link up there for a little hobo to know how to vote, please?
been by since Friday, Lini. No, the girls have not been by yet. Um, they're they're a little little upset about this. So they're probably having a harder time about this move than anybody because they want to come, but it's just so crowded in here with every. Well, you can see we've got stuff everywhere. And so it would be really difficult for all three of them, plus the volunteers, to be in here. But Karen's going to call me in the next day or two, and we're going to figure out how, how they can get here. Even if they come and they play in the house and just come in for some dancing around like they like to do for you all. And uh, visit the kitties quick. And uh, But they'll come. I miss them. I miss, and I got to have lunch with my other daughter today, Dawn. That was fun. Um, I will turn, when, as soon as I get up and walk up there, I'll turn a light on and you can tell me if that helps. Um, let me see what this says. Well, since you guys brought up the surprise thing, I, I'll I'll explain to you what I what I know on it. The surprise group. I am not on that group, so I cannot close that group down myself. There's a lot of um, uh, there's still people on there. There's a lot of people on there, and um, this is what my wish would be. I'm just gonna. I'm always honest with everybody. I don't play games. I'll just tell you. I think the surprise group could be a fun thing if it was all done on non-monetary things. Non-monetary things. So I think, you know, fun things that are invented or brought up or thought of are fun. But what my wish would be for the surprise group is that it would shut down all of it, close it out, done, over, Start up another group, call it a, the fun group maybe, something different, and make it an open group. Um, if I'm, I would never go in there unasked to spoil any fun, I and I don't, even, I don't do, I would not do that. Um, but that would be what my wish would be, is that the surprise group closes down, and um, then if you want to, make a different group you know maybe a, maybe call it the fun group you know do fun things the fun doer group but make it an open group and if if there's things on there that you guys are doing that's fun for the rescue center that you don't want me to know i i wouldn't get in i i give you my word on that and but i don't think that it should be a closed group and i think that there should be volunteers on there and my family should be able to be back in there and I think that um, it could be a whole, whole lot of fun, but it would be cool if it was an open group. I agree, Sassy. There shouldn't be a closed group for the for the rescue center. My mom, thank you for asking. My mom is a little lonely, which just utterly breaks my heart. Um, we had a really nice time today. She, I think I was there. I was there quite a while, maybe two and a half, three hours, and. Uh, we just we went through her jewelry box, like I said, and organized it, and did a bunch of paperwork that we needed to do for my dad. And uh, we just chit chatted about a lot of things about dad, which was a lot of fun. Um, still a little sad, but but it was fun. Um, but she's lonely, and and my mom is a she's a tough cookie. She's independent, and uh, she she's she. 
she's a toughie <laughs> and I love it and I love it it's just uh, different you know she'll be watching TV and there's just nobody else there to join in with her so I asked her after we get the floor done if she would like to come here maybe once or twice a week because I'll go get her and I'll bring her here and just keep her here and let her enjoy some some time here my mom used to be on the police force and so and she loves people and I think that that's what she misses is people being around her so if after we get the floor in if I can get her here a couple times a week I would just love that and my volunteers love her and she's really enjoyed um, knowing things about you web cameras I think she's really enjoyed it so I'm going to shoot for that and I'm also going to I said today mom you need a cat and to help keep you company and she didn't tell me no so you know what I think would be cool is just maybe like Kiera who's an awesome cat and you know Kiera doesn't do well away from here so what I think would be cool is to take Kiera with me and I would just stay keep her there with me at my mom's house and even if it's only an hour and get Kiera used to a home away from here and maybe just keep taking Kira and wouldn't that be cool if Kira got to stay with her? That's a little trickster thing maybe we could do. Yeah, I'll just say, oh, Mom, I'm just bringing her just to help her get used to different situations so we can get her adopted. <laughs> my mom is going to be in February. My mom's birthday is February 28th, and she's going to be 88 years old. But she's very with it, mind-wise, physically, she's awesome. She doesn't even use a cane to walk. She, she gets tired, but she's, she's really, physically is very healthy, mentally very healthy, too. this yes uh, can somebody jot down the new website the fofrescue.org and in there is our wish list and thank you for asking I don't think she looks like she's 88 either is that your birthday too February 28th well happy coming up birthday to you No, that's fine, KB. Hey, that's a good idea, Anna Marie. I like that. Um, oh, birthday cards for Mom? That would be fine. She would, she would, uh, she would just love that. That's I, I love that. Yes. Um. Joe, no, she's got a car, but she hasn't driven for so long. Her self-confidence is not good enough. Her reflex isn't good enough to drive, so I've been doing most of that for her. Um, some wind bird asked me to explain the kitty's heart problem. Is it treatable with medicine throughout her life? Um, she has her heart problem is uh, I've got my my cheat sheet here uh, we had the x-rays we thir at first thought it was a hernia of the diaphragm which it is not she has a soft heart murmur which could be just from the stress of going into the vet's office could be because she's a kitty sometimes kitties have heart murmurs and as they get bigger if there's no real physical reason for it they just go away but she does have an enlarged heart and um, that we can't uh, can't undo um, it's a uh, cardiomyopathy that means nothing more than a uh, disease of the heart she's rated as a mild to moderate when they do these x-rays and these tests they have this scale that they use and they to compare everything they like the kitties to be eight and under she's at nine so she's just a little bit over normal um, her her uh, heart on both of the x-rays that she had shows that her heart is enlarged and as you know the heart is a muscle so it's a thickening of the muscle wall there um, 
Her heart rate when she was there was 186. Normal for a kitty is 150, but that again could be due to stress. Sometimes they give kitties um, or cats aspirin once every three days. That's to try to help uh, prevent blood clots. Because sometimes it is, if they throw a blood clot or an embolism, they can travel and sometimes these clots settle in the pelvis, the saddle saddle area of the hips and then it can cause paralysis and it's very painful when that happens. That's a big no-no. So to help prevent the blood clots, um, aspirin can be given under a um, just, uh, prescribed dose by the vet. Sometimes also they put them on heart medicines if they have higher blood pressure to one, help the kitty feel better and also two, if the heart isn't beating as hard uh, then the heart is working better at a at a slower pace. So this is a something that is not fixable. It's and whatever heart damage they get from this is not reversible. Um, but there sometimes are medications that can help them and prolong or and and uh, make the heart more productive. Well, the blood thinners, that's what the aspirin would be for. Aren't these kitties wonderful? There's, there's Promise. Somebody asked me earlier for Promise. She's doing wonderful. Okay, if that, I might have missed a question or two. Um, I don't have the backup system here that I do there. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm hoping eventually that we'll be able to get Jaina and Jaken adopted, but we're just kind of on hold right now till we see where things are. Yep, if we have boxes tomorrow, we should be able to open them. Oh, my mom's name, thank you for asking, Eldora. I don't know if you've ever heard of that name before, it's not all that common. It's E L. D-O-R-A, Eldora. Yeah, baby aspirin, yep, is, would be used um, as the blood thinner. Siri, I just saw her. Siri is doing awesome, Joe. Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry, Rena can't ask that. Um, Siri, she's a clown, I'm telling you. That, that, oh, she's sleeping up there by Twinkle. If we have boxes, we'll we'll open them tomorrow night. Um, my mom was a, um, a meter reader, and or or as she called herself, a street walker. <laughs> she did that for a long time, and she loved it. She was with the um, community. You know, she was out there on the streets every single day. Uh, she took her job very seriously. I remember her so well many many times in her police uniform and uh, boy was she strict at it you broke the law you you got a ticket man Bewitched, that was in Dora, E N. My mom's name is spelled E L D O R A. And if you just put Eldora on it, well, you can put her last name, that's okay. It's S I N E S. Signs. S I N E S. Ada Jean is inside the bench, snoring her little head off. Yeah, you can just put Al Eldora at FFRC. That was my my maiden name. <laughs> Her 
birthday is uh, February 28th, and um, Peggy's is February 9th. I think it's February 9th. Close. It's, um, Cata Soccer, is it? It's on the website. It should be plastered all over the website. Your maiden name is Moss Tilly? Oh, and you were born in Ohio. Wow, that's cool. Steve's real last name used to be Mazzalupo. He's Italian. That was what his grand great-grandfather's name was. Okay, well, if that's about it, I think I'm going to clean. There's a lot of cleanup to do tonight. I was kind of messy again. 